I want to graph this function. Now, the way we graph functions is we write down a collection of ordered pairs. Then we graph the individual ordered pairs. And then we connect those up with a curve. And that gives us what we think the graph of the function should look like. So first of all, I need to find the ordered pairs. Here's a table of ordered pairs. The ordered pairs are negative 2, 14, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, and so forth. So when x is negative 2, y is 14. How do I find these? I just pick particular values of x, plug them into this formula, and see what comes out for f of x, which I'm denoting as y. So now the next thing I want to do is to uh, graph this collection of ordered pairs. So here they are graphed. There's negative 2, 14. You see here's 14 up here. Uh, negative 1 and a half and something in here and negative 1 and 1 and so forth. Now you can kind of see what the, cur what the curve is going to look like. It's going to come down like this. It's going to follow these around and it's going to dip down and come back up and it'll go around like this and then it'll, it'll follow the rest of these down. You could, uh, you could always uh, graph more points until you get a good idea of how close um, the, this would be and whether you have the right idea for the curve. So what I'm going to do now is graph it and I'm going to uh, be including a lot more points and then connecting them up with a curve. So here's what it looks like when you start connecting these points up. Uh, the, the picture got chopped off a little up at the top, but you can see what's happening. It's going through these points that we graphed earlier. And it's just like we thought it would do. It kind of comes down and dips down a bit and then comes up and goes back down again. So that's the graph of this uh, function.